Hi, I'm Tony and welcome to Sports Bike Shop's video about the Falco Mixed 03 Adventure Touring Boots. The standout feature with the Falco Mixed 03 boots is the upper. It's made from an oil-treated full-grain leather, which gives a really classic vintage look. It's also got a really supple feel to it that makes these boots popular with adventure touring riders, the kind of claspy closures here, see to that, and also with the kind of guys who ride classics and vintage bikes because it's got that heritage look and old school appearance. These boots really are for touring and road riding rather than heavy duty off-road use. They're more supple and flexible and compliant than a heavy duty adventure touring boot. This is much more about touring. Flexibility of that upper is joined by accordion stretch panels around the forefoot here and then also at the heel, they both aid the kind of motions that you want to make while you're riding to change gear and use the brakes, etc. And then also while you're walking. The accordion stretch panel at the back is joined by this light reflective panel, which is actually the most visible light reflective panel you'll probably have on your entire riding kit because it sits right in a car's headlight beam. So that's quite important. Impact protection. There's a certain amount on these boots. It's got a plastic shin wrap around here. There's a box around the toes to protect against knocks and against crushing forces if a bike was to land on your toes. And then there are hard plastic discs either side of your ankle bone, which are backed by a D3O impact absorbent foam for that bit of extra protection. You don't want to have your nice oiled leather upper ruined by being contacted by the gear lever all the time. So this rubberized section stitched across the upper here protects against damage in that way. The sole is by Vibram, really popular and well-known type of sole for all types of footwear. And it's used in quite a lot of bike boots. This one is a hybrid, I would say, of off-road style, quite chunky on the bottom. And then there's quite a low profile sporty section along the left they're really stiff and supportive and it does a good job in that sense but I would say this gives away really that these are clearly for road riding rather than for tricky off-road sections and riding through green lanes and routes. The fastener, these boots run two motocross style clasps here, one at the ankle, one at the shin. They both offer a good range of adjustment. The bottom one at the ankle, you can slide this tooth section through the clasp there and you get 40 millimeters of range on the base. It's the same on the top one, although there's a wider range of adjustment because you want that to wrap around your shin and that runs 65 millimeter range of adjustment that you can have that in or out to suit your size of calf. The clasp then slots into one of these grooves here and you close it around. A final click is required to make sure that's absolutely secure. It's easy to feel that that's closed, but you just need to give it that push and that reassuring click to make sure that it's properly done up. If we undo this top band, it reveals that the boots have a really wide opening. One of the things that comes across from people who've bought these boots is that they're really easy to put on and take off. And that's not always the case with an adventure boot. There's a really wide expansion section for this waterproof membrane here. The gusset's really wide to make sure that those boots are easy to get on your feet. That waterproof membrane is Falco's own high-tex material. It's waterproof and it's breathable and it extends a good way up the boot. It reaches as far as the Velcro band at the top so you've got good coverage against the rain. Also the insole is removable, it can be whipped out. So if that loses support and comfort over time it's easy to take that out and replace it with a new one. It's not always the case with every boot that you can take the insole out. The other thing that the interior gives away is the CE rating on these boots. They meet the 2010 standard, which isn't the latest, but it's still relevant. It meets level two, which is the highest in the three technical tests that are part of that standard, which is resistance against abrasion, against cuts, and also against crushing forces, the kind that you might get if the bike lands on your foot in this direction. It's what they call transverse rigidity. The latest standard also adds a further test, which is to dictate whether a boot is full or short length, but using the technical apparatus that I call my eyes, I can tell you these boots are actually full length. I hope that gives you everything you want to know about the Falco Mixto 3 boots, but if there's anything you'd like to ask or add, please pop a comment below. 
Thanks for watching.